Money Moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a mother movie. So finally, guys, we're going to be doing some real reactions. You know, I can show you guys a lot of stuff I've been talking about, which I've been in the streets. And I know that a lot of modern American black men do not want to work jobs. And a lot of guys, not only do they not want to work jobs, but some, a lot of guys don't even know how to manage money when they get on a job. And that's what leads to homelessness. So guys, hold on, let me let me turn this uh fan on. So guys, without further ado, we're gonna jump straight into this little clip I found. Hold on. Let's get it. Quite happy to be here, but says he's planning to move soon. So this is the situation in 2022 in Los Angeles. You can basically build your own small wooden house right on Hollywood Boulevard, live in it, continue to refuse offers of city services, and most people around here are okay with it. Others say it has to go. It's a solid, well-built wooden structure propped up by metal carts and car. So, so these dudes out here that that comfortable. That, that you're gonna put a wooden, you're gonna build a wooden structure on the sidewalk. You know, when there's jobs out there and so much opportunity, like it's crazy, bro. Our batteries, a power cord unplugged trails down the sidewalk, which is piled high with assorted power tools and electronics. Reaction mixed. What do you think of that? I don't like it. It's not good. It's back. It is a little. I, 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 Senorita said me no likes. No, no, it's hazardous. And yet it is hazardous. It is hazardous, guys. You know. If somebody comes through and uh, who's blind or somebody trips up and hurt themselves, then you guys are land all over the place. No matter what city, every major city in this country, even the poor communities, there's guys out here who do not understand how to manage their money. You know, this is this is in Hollywood. Minimum wage in Hollywood. I'm pretty sure it's over 18 bucks an hour. You know, it's a shame, guys. It's absolutely a shame. Out there, but he is safe and he doesn't have to worry about um, someone burning his tent down. I don't even know, like, why or how or, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> He just can't even, he can't even understand how somebody could <laughs> build a whole wooden structure and feel like it's okay in the middle of the city. I can understand if you was in Selma, Alabama, or something, you built it off the grid on, on, a, on a $500 piece of land. Like I be saying, they got land going for a thousand bucks. They got land going for 500 bucks because people not paying their taxes. And these guys, you know, these guys is making the whole community look bad with this box in the middle of the road. To say the least, is this okay? It's not okay that it's gotten to this point. The fact that he's here, I don't see an issue with it. Anybody home? After I called the city and the LAPD to see what, if anything, is being done to help or clean up, and he called 12 on <laughs> the news reporter called 12 on him. It's a so, so guys, it's a black dude. His name's Q. Um, he built this wooden structure right here. You know, he, he made it home. Um, and basically people are like, bro, like, you know, it's a creative ideal, but it's not in the right place. And um, <laughs> the news reporter called the cops. That's crazy. Police did come and talk to the man. They've been here before. They described him as young, healthy, 
They offered to connect him with services. He declined. They left. Summing. You see, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Young and healthy. This is what make make a lot of us look so bad. Like everybody want to live the street life. Everybody want to thug, thug, gang, gang it. When you are able body, you look healthy, healthy. You can stand, you can walk. You can stand on the job for eight hours. It's nothing, man. You can stand on the job for 10 hours and stack your bread. These dudes, a lot of these guys like this are making excuses. They don't want help, bro. You know, a lot of guys do not want help. I don't understand. And then, and then it'd be the same dudes who be saying that, oh, it's the white man and uh, with identity identity politics and stuff like that. It's the white man. It's the white man. It's the white man. But you have every, you in the major, you in LA. You can't tell me you can't be making some good money out there on a job. Now, the municipal code, the only enforcement is if a person is blocking the sidewalk or an active driveway or business. City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell says he hopes this can be resolved with what are called care plus teams, which so they got a law in L.A., man, and that if you, like the homeless people can lay on the sidewalk, but they cannot block the whole sidewalk. And he's obviously, then if he can get educated on that law, then he can get educated and get himself out that position, especially being an able-bodied, able-bodied man. You know, we ain't going for that. Not in 2024, man. We, we, we out here grinding. You know, to get money team, money moves, like the flow of the ocean. Which pair comprehensive outreach with sanitation and cleaning services needed to make the public right of way safe and accessible. <laughs> Meantime, across the street where Jamila Ali and Rant Shaw run City Vibes Coffee, compassion is still on the menu. He hasn't like bothered anyone. And honestly, I'm glad that it's right there because I honestly feel safer with him there. For some reason, I, I don't know why. It's just he feels like if he feels, you know, like, 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 you know, he he's not doing nothing. He's just laying there, you know. He's not trying to excel in life or nothing, you know. So it's cool with me. We just gonna let this guy chill, you know, right out front of the store, when potentially he could be messing up a lot of your business that's coming in the store. You know, but this is the same type of guy when I was homeless, because I've been there before. The same type of guy who will let you come in there and charge your phone and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I, I salute dudes like this. So, you know, but honestly, in all reality, you can't be comfortable with guys doing this, because next thing you know, you're going to have 10 black guys selling drugs in front of your coffee shop. It feels like he's like, he knows what he's doing, and he's not here to like hurt anyone. Unfortunately, they have to make us a little bit uncomfortable for them to be comfortable. And I think that's just like the problem in LA. No one realizes how much of a burden it can do to like our mentality yeah. and just um, the way we carry ourselves. Q tells me he's. He called the cops. He was like, What are you going to do about this? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. From Kansas City, he's been in LA for about three years, been here for a few months. He says he's self-employed, he fixes bikes, he wants to be a mechanical engineer, and that... You see, this this what I'm saying, like, you guys be having all these hopes and dreams, and they're not ma even making $500 a week, when you can go and work in LA at McDonald's and make about $20 an hour, and Cali, and... You'll be good, you know what I'm saying? Then you can still fix your bikes on the side or whatever until it starts making you real money, you know what I'm saying? So, it's crazy, bro. <laughs> he uh, is an Army veteran. Uh, Saturday, Alex and uh, Marla, the city tells me they're planning to clean this all up as part of this Care Plus um, program that's had great success here in Hall. You see this dude to build a whole house which would have been cool if it was on your own property, you know. And now, I'm pretty sure he ain't got the money to tow this thing away as it is, so he's going to have to take all, they're going to literally rip that house down. It's like the three little pigs, man. 
You know what I'm saying? One guy b built this house out of wood, but when you build your house on somebody's property, just know that you're not going to be able to live there. Like, it's crazy. Hollywood, if you've been to the underpass and Gower on the 101 freeway, all cleaned up. So it's going to be interesting to see what, if anything, happens to this man. As I mentioned, uh, he's perfectly happy being here, and most of the people around here are happy to have him. Live in Hollywood, I'm Phil Schumann. You know, that... Um... That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy that you know you're that smart to build a house but you're not smart enough to get a job while you're doing your business on the side you know I wouldn't get that comfortable couldn't get that comfortable like no not being homeless man so guys let me know what you guys think on the topic today um you know we want to keep them coming like hot cakes so, guys, make sure you guys please like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, fellas, it's a mother movie over and out.